Hey guys, um, however you want to use Ubuntu, um, but just didn't want to mess with all the hassle of partitioning your hard drive and or changing your hard drive to strictly Ubuntu. Well, here's a fun way to test out Ubuntu to see if you actually like it. Um, all you have to do is go to wubi-installer.org. I'll put a um, I'll put the link in the description. All you have to do is click this, and I've already done that. And, I mean, within seconds, oh, that's from another video, let's put it over here. Um, within seconds, I had this little icon. Okay, click it. Give me a second, of course it shows up on my other screen. Wait for it. Meanwhile, I'll check my uh, Facebook. Nothing new. Da -da -da. Okay. And this comes up. Now, um, my laptop is running really, really low on memory. Or on hard drive space, I should say. Only got 11 gigs left. Um, but you can select what hard drive, if you have many. You can actually select which size to install it. For this one, I'm only going to put a 5 gig. Okay. And then you can actually install which Ubuntu environment. English. Of or, you know, any of the other fine languages that I can't speak. I'll put it as Eric, and you have to put a password, which is really kind of gay. But, all my Linux shit, if anybody comes in my house and tries to hack me, it's very easy. All I do is just type in 1. And then you click install. Okay, and then what it does is just goes through the motions. And then, um, when you get to, well, you install this, and then you restart your computer. And then it goes into full Ubuntu setup. Um, I don't want to do that because I don't have enough disk space right now. Um, and I just don't feel like finding a recording thing. But um, yeah, this is really neat. This is how I learned um, how to use Ubuntu. I now have a computer that strictly runs only Ubuntu. Um, the cool thing about it is I had a two wire card. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I had two, whoops. Yeah, I think that's the website. Twowire.com. I had a two-wire card and um, I didn't have the driver software for it and I can't find the driver software which really sucks. Um, I think the only way I could figure it out was if um, Yeah, this is the exact card I have. I've tried these drivers. None of them work. It's bullshit. But um, Ubuntu actually was able to pick up the drivers for these. And um, I can use that computer wirelessly in Ubuntu, but I cannot use it wirelessly in um, Windows, which is really stupid. But yeah, that's another cool feature. I, um, I think I'm going to do a few Ubuntu um videos not sure yet but you know subscribe and hope for the best thank hey guys hey guys I'm going to show you how to um, burn an ISO to a CD first what we need is this awesome program it's called ISO recorder as you can see um, it is free which is you know two thumbs up cuz everybody loves free shit so this is free and what we do is uh, just to install it. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work because it's already installed on my computer. So let's find out. This is kind of a pain in the ass right now because everything I do pops up on my other screen because this is my second screen. Second awesome screen. They can see from the lack of icons. Oh, okay, so it wants me to repair it, but 
I mean, it, all you have to do is click open, blah, 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 click next. Yeah, yeah, sure, I read the, the crap. Um, I mean, you'd have to be kind of not bright. Let's not go with stupid, let's say not bright to not be able to install this program. The hell is it doing now? Being complete. I don't know. Wait for it. Okay, so what we do is, this is my ISO, it's my file, right here, right here. This is Linux Mint, um, it's one of the Linux CDs, live CDs that I have. Um, this one's kind of cool, because it looks somewhat like um, Windows, because it's got the start bar. Um, if you ever have it, have a chance, um, you can download it at, I think it's called LinuxMint.com, and they have a torrent link to the pirate bay that you can download from so it is legal to download yes I say it legal torrents are not bad if it is legal okay so what we do is we just do this we right click it and we go open with IS ISO recorder and I wait and I wait and I wait and this is where it is. Uh, I guess you could download an ISO from the CD. I only have one drive, so it'd be kind of silly. Um, but let's put a CD in. That beep is my uh, CD drive. It is fucking annoying. Okay, I just put a CD in. If you did not hear. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. Um, this media is not blank. Yeah, blah blah blah, because it has this other shit on. Um, I can click this erase button, which I actually will be doing. But let's do that after. Um, what you do is you put your CD in, and you go, oh look, media is correct. Blah blah blah, whatever. And then you just click next. And then it burns the ISO, pops the CD out. You click finish, put that CD. Um, I mean, if it's a program CD, then you would just put it back in. But if it's a live CD, you have to restart your computer. So you can run from CD. Um, yeah, and this is as easy as it is. Um, I mean, this program doesn't look really good. But who cares? Honestly, it works. It does what the job is. So I'm going to erase the CD. Apparently it takes 45 minutes, never has. I've done this a few times and it does not do anything. Um, yeah, I buy rewritables for testing stuff. All my Linux stuff has been done on rewritables, just in case. Well, I mean, so I don't waste CDs. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.